Hey everybody, this is Grimcad here, and we're back with more Caves of Cud. Now, things have changed a little bit. In between yesterday and today, there was an update to the game, and all of my save files were wiped. So that sucks. But unfortunately it happens, it is technically still in beta, so you know, as they do updates, these things happen. So, now we're here with Nirukat Kiruquat, and he is the exact same character, uh, the exact same mutations that is, two-headed, light manipulation, thundermine, temporal fuge, or fugue, and all that. He is one level higher. Other than that, he's pretty much exactly the same. And I am going to go ahead and put points into self-discipline, because I just leveled up. So what that does is that gives me meditate. Every round that we meditate, we regenerate at thrice the normal rate. And it also counts down our negative status effects as effects faster. So it's a way for us to uh, regenerate. Pretty much. We can't do it in the very middle of uh, issues, but you know we can do it. So we're going to be clearing out Red Rock Caves. Me and my, at the moment, three amigos. Oh, they disappeared. And we're going to be going a little bit faster than we did in the previous videos, because now I figure we've got a little bit of a hand on things. Ugh. So I won't be explaining my steps quite as much. I'll just be doing it more. And we are going to be... Ugh. Clearing it out because we are going to be taking this character slowly, making sure he matures and gets all the experiment uh, experience he needs to be a fantastic, well-adjusted member of society. I run into every single jilted lover <laughs> that I walk past. Oh, I don't think I showed them off. Whoops, there goes my blinking tick. Whoops, there it goes again. Uh, yeah. well, this little guy right here, let's take a look at him. Whoops. He's a bat. It sheathes itself in filmy wings. And that annoying thing is a jilted lo lover, a swarthy wall vine that embraces lovers and doesn't care to see them go. And you can barely see it, but right there, there's a little tuft of grass that is a dread root. It's swollen tubers hum. That has a random chance of uh, casting like fear on us, or on everything, really. Treasure chest right here, pretty nice. It's got some vine wafers in there. A high explosive that we'll be taking and a water skin that we will be taking. I'm only going to be grabbing some of the good stuff. Ah, one of the things that's slightly different, let's look at our equipment. I managed to get a grit gate recoiler um, very, very early on from uh, the Dromed Merchant Tam. So that's an exciting item that uh, has some applications a little bit later down the road. We do have a carbide hammer as our weapon. Uh, we bought that early on as well. And not much armor other than that, to be honest. Ugh. Stupid plants. It's gonna be the death of me. Alright. Yeah, we might as well. Oh, that one left. A corpse. Can we eat the corpse? 
I don't think it does anything. Man, that was 400 pounds, that corpse was. All right, we're, oh, I think we leveled up. No, it just, okay, whatever. We're gonna be taking the time to blast things on walls. We're not gonna kill all the tubers, but we are gonna try to do the other stuff. Cause like I said, I wanna take the time and nurture this character and do my best to see that he doesn't die in a stupid way. I'm going to sunder that chameleon. And ugh. if you hit shift and the key like to go up or down stairs, it gives you the option of auto traveling to said stairs. And that's what we just did. There's a seed spinning vine. Very nasty. There are the stairs right there. Sometimes when you're dealing with enemies on the very edges of the map, it does that little loading screen because the enemies can and will actually sort of bounce in between the uh, multiple levels. There are multiple screens, rather. Whoops, we just walked straight into him and killed him. So what level are we? We're level four. So that means apparently that we can take out singular um, snapjaws, which is good. And of course, 10 XP a pop isn't bad. This is a really, really barren um, <laughs> red rock here. Normally there's way, way, way more things. Monsters. But I don't know what it is. We'll probably find something very big that'll kill us. <laughs> Since it's making up for not having any little guys in here. Okay. Here is a bear. The grizzly bear is huge and wild. It has devoured the little child. The little child is unaware. It has been eaten by the bear. It will sunder its mind. It's wounded. It will... Oh. Okay. Backtrack a little bit. It got, <coughs> excuse me, attacked by a young ivory right there. So that's what actually killed it. So we didn't get any experience for that, which kind of sucks. But we know that there's a young ivory right there. And those things, I don't know, probably have a, will definitely have a non-insignificant chance of killing me. We're going to just dip back right here and meditate oh, well meditate and we're just gonna wait a couple of turns till our health is max all right and that took way less time than the normal resting would have taken it's the normal resting just takes forever i think we need a leather cap yeah, excellent. <laughs> we have a cap on one of our heads. Whoops. We went flying straight by that treasure chest. Yeah, two copper nuggets in there. Oh, now you see how this water looks slightly different? That means that that is actually fresh water pools, whereas these water pools or brackish water. So we got 10 drams of fresh water for absolutely nothing. Okay, that's this level. We'll go down to the next. Red Rock is four levels, I believe. Every single time. We'll go ahead and we'll ooh, summon our fuge and we will sunder the mind of this blue one because that was a Snapjaw Warlord. Slightly better than your average snap jaw. And there we 
everything died pretty quickly. We will pick up this worn burnous and put it on our back. There's a long hooded cloak and it gives us one dodge value. If I can, <laughs> my uh, my copy's leveled up a little bit too late. Somebody's shooting arrows at us, and I cannot see very well. What was I gonna say? Let's pick up another leather cap. Doesn't do a ton, but <laughs> now we have two leather caps. Ooh. That was dumb. Okay. We're going to wait. Ooh, okay. We're going to teleport. Just a little bit. Well, luckily, it did not get us into trouble. These centipedes are not too bad, but they're just a little bit too much for us to take in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, we auto got a beaded bracelet. Beaded bracelets are another one of those trade goods, just like copper nuggets. They're worth significantly more, however. And in a pinch, you can wear them. Now, this guy is a cannibal. This stout human's bare skin is pallid from years of abstaining from sunlight. His eyes are glazed and bestial. Isolation has rendered him more of a beast than a man. He's equipped with a bite and a club. <laughs> we will sunder his mind. Ooh, there's more than one. I wish I had not sundered his mind. Temporal fuge. That took care of everything very nicely. Very, very nicely. Hmm. Okay, I was just checking to see if I could put points into anything, and I cannot. I believe it won't be until level... 8-ish, maybe, that I can put points back in things. My mutations, that is. So, that's a little annoying. Hello, little Snapjaw Hunter. Goodbye. Might not be able to, yeah. Had to take a hit right there in order to lay, ugh, blaze that one. Gonna go ahead and meditate here for a couple minutes because why not? And of course, we're just hitting five on the number pad to uh, wait a turn. Because in this game, it is definitely a slow and steady wins the race. Of course, I like my uh, friends to do as much of the work as possible. Stupid thing. Okay. It's under the mind of the big one as best we can. Okay, things are looking a little bad. Let's see what items we have. Nothing particularly that's going to help us. Uh, the explosive grenade, everything's a little bit too close. We're going to sprint. Ah, oh, excellent. Our issues have solved themselves. As we blinked into danger, <laughs> and then we blinked right back out of danger. We're going to sunder, and then lays down. Ooh. I was really hoping we could 
take out the staff jaw in hand to hand as well, but we're not quite there. Sunder? Okay. Studded leather armor. I don't. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I'm very sniffly today. Still sick. Tiny little bit. Ugh. All right, we'll fuse, and he will instantly die. We will pick up the steel short sword. Great. Great, great, great. Go ahead and just mow things down, guys. <laughs> Ooh. We are going to back up just a tiny little bit. I think he actually became afraid. We're going to sunder it. Didn't quite kill it, it's wounded. And then lays it down. How are we doing on food? Just curiosity. We're actually getting kind of low on food. Do I have the harvestry skill? I do not. I think I will be wanting to pick that up at some point. And if at some point I can get Prostolize skill, that's a very good one too. I think I'm going to aim for Harvestry so we can harvest vine wafers and not starve to death. And then go for Prostolize, because that persuades an intelligent creature to join us. And uh, join us forever. So that is pretty nice, as you can imagine. Because creatures level up too. Now we can't do some of the super cool things with it, but, uh, well, that's for a different character. <laughs> uh, don't attack. Four hundred and thirty three till next level. It's a big boulder, by the way, that we just passed. Now we might as well look at the Snapjaw Warlord. Uh, it's exactly the same, but it is a Swarm Alpha. So it gains plus two to the Swarm bonuses of each adjacent Swarmer character. And it has better stats and usually better everything. So there's only one way to deal with that. Where's it going and what are my guys doing? <laughs> uh, they were slightly bugged there. Uh, I'm glad nothing bad happened from it. Ooh, it. Turkey and a desert rifle. Now I will not be equipping the desert rifle. However, that is a pretty nice item with 9 penetration and dealing 1d8 damage. It uh, holds, I think, 6 shots as well. So that's a very, very nice find for Red Rock. However, my stats are not good enough for me to use it. And if I were to equip it and load it I, and like save it for emergencies, well, anytime I summon my Fuge, copies they'll try to use that they have terrible aim and they will probably hit me and kill me so we go down and we finish the quest because we see right off the bat a gershling black ooze drips from its fangs to its pallid leg things leg things it shudders in primordial ecstasy and lets out a shrill whine that pierces your skull 
It is also a swarmer. And it is the thing. Hmm. That did pretty well. <laughs> that is killing all the stuff down here. So we pick up the corpse. Hmm. And we have to drop. Hmm. Fair amount of weight, too. Um, what just happened? I equipped that. I don't know how I did that. I was hitting like left and right on the uh, the arrow keys. Ten more pounds. Well, that's a no-brainer. That sells for a lot of money, by the way. What we just dropped. Whoa! There's a gear sling, but then we both became very afraid. Sunder its mine. And then shoot it with my lasers. There we go. Lots of jilted lovers in this one. Also a lot of young ivories. What was I thinking about not lazing that thing down? Oh my goodness. Let's meditate for a while. <laughs> okay, let's teleport. Yay, we're now level six. Oh, awesome. At level six, we can go ahead and put more points into two heads. And then everything else automatically gets another point in it as well. And we're almost summoning three more copies. Not quite yet, but almost. Uh, skill points, like I said, we want to put into Harvestry. Oh, we don't have 13 intelligence? <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, my. Oof. That's bad. Wow. Um, I guess we'll be buying a lot of food. Which isn't so bad. We get great deals when we buy things. And all these like little metal sheets and things that we're picking up uh, sell for very high amounts and do not have a lot of purpose for us at this moment. They're for a tinker character, or at the very least a much higher ooh, intelligence. Character. <laughs> now I did see a Gershling. Oh my God! These jilted lovers. There it is. And we will summon the fuge to take care of it. <laughs> um, and you may. Oof. We're bleeding from the young ivory. Let's stop for a little bit. Okay. See if we stop bleeding. We did. Let's go ahead and meditate. What the fuck just happened? I think they were attacking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I think <laughs> they were attacking that young ivory. <laughs> Once they exhausted their uses of their lays ability, they threw um, the acid grenade that they happened to be holding at it. So that's what happened there. So we're going to wait a little bit normally and inefficiently. <sighs> stupid, stupid, jilted lovers. 
you know, uh, we're barely getting enough experience to, uh, convince ourselves that this is a good idea. Wow, we did like 49 damage to it. Oh, and they summon their came to life right on a young ivory. And they are teleporting all over the place. We got a lover's bloom, which uh, is the rare and beautiful blossom of a jilted lover's prime. Bleh, bleh. Vine, and I believe can be sold for quite a lot. All right, let's take care of that. Let's look at the glow white cultist of Aglogut. Beneath the umbra of a stinking robe, flesh smears over the bones of a boy who surrendered his body to the metamorphic Newman. Oh, wow, there was a thing there is for some reason he's not hostile to us. Oh ooh. which is to say he was in fact hostile to us, but he was not attacking us. We're running in the dark until we can sunder its mine. And now we have seen the bad thing about this character. <laughs> we sort of have night vision. Oh, okay, now it's turned off. When you use all of the charges of your laser ability, it turns off. Couldn't exactly tell you why. But it does. Okay. A small cobalt tube. Let us examine it. And it is a shade oil injector. Injectors are things that are fairly common. They are tonics. Um, you inject them, take one round, and they have fantastic effects for a limited time. So, for the duration of 41 to 50 rounds, our dodge value is increased by 8, and there's a 25% chance per round that you phase out of the dimension for 1 to 3 rounds. So that's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, we'll see a lot more of those things. Those are our get out of free, <laughs> get out of jail cards. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's a good bit of loot. I was just thinking, we haven't seen very much good loot on this Ooh. stupid young ivory. Okay, at least we stopped bleeding rather quickly. Okay, well, ooh. that is Red Rock cleared out. Oh, let's take a look at the young ivory. A bloodthirsty plant of cud, the young ivory lurks beneath the surface until it senses a creature passed overhead. Then it unleashes a sharp tusk to impale its prey. Carnivorous plants. Oh, this wasn't quite everything. There's still a little bit over here. Okay, I don't know if it meant to shoot the jilted lover, but it did. Bam. Because why? Oh, one of them killed it. Because why not summon our time selves? It's the whole purpose of this build. <laughs> a 
All right, that's Red Rock. Let's just head back to Hiopa. Yep. Oh. Something is still alive. And we're down to a 16 round cooldown on our Sunder Mine. And how long on our Fuse? 110 rounds. So that's less than half. Because normally it's a 200 round cooldown. So that's pretty good. So we can use it twice as often. And we will simply fast travel down to a Hiyopa. <laughs> Talk to Mamet. Have you tidings from Red Rock? Yes, I found bits of gnawed water vine and slew a white spiderling. I carry its corpse with me. Well, what a hideous thing. I dread the horrors its presence portends. Bring the course through to Elder Irudad's hut for the Elder to examine. Will do. Live and drink, Wayfarer. Welcome to the Oasis of Joppa. Yeah, I think we've already done that. Maybe not. Well, I don't think we did talk to him. Here you will find shade and vittle along with other provisions to help you better scour the rust caves for treasure. Above all else, you may drink of our fresh water and quench your thirst. Now I know, we definitely did talk to this guy. I forgot this is a different save. I returned from Red Rock with the corpse of a pale spiderling. Elder, would you examine it? This is troubling. It is as I feared. Gershlings. There was a rabid black-robed man among the Gershlings. A glow white, no doubt. Those manacle full maniacal fools worship the Gersh as gods. What are the Gersh? Ancient demons as old as cut itself. They embody the essence of the poisons that is spread throughout the land. Once they crawled Crud's surface, but a thousand years ago something drove them deep beneath the surface. Now they roost in the nethers of Cud's vastest and darkest caverns. And the Gershlings? Gershlings are spawn of the Gersh. They are twisted creatures of every ilk. The Glow Whites consume their corpses in order to reshape themselves in the images of the Gersh demons. Where did the Gersh come from? They are spawn of one older still, the Gersh Mother Tluku. Tluktku. Tluktku. According to the wisdom of my father and his father before him, she lies sleeping somewhere within the burial temple of Mora. No one knows whence she came. Perhaps she is indeed some wretched goddess from beyond the stars to s beyond the stars to slumber on our world. Why were you so troubled before? Gerslings have not been sighted on the surface for centuries. I fear something nefarious is astir. Your discovery will prove invaluable to us, Wayfarer. Howbeit, we are but penurious... That's a word I don't know. Moisture farmers. There is little we can do apart from sharpen our vine reavers. There may be others outside of Joppa, however, who are able to do more. As for your reward, take these prickly boons. I will not soon forget your service. Live and drink, my friend. Live and drink, Elder. Hooray! 750! Hooray! Completed the quest! Hooray! We got a bunch of things! So, we got one thing that wasn't in... Blah, we have to examine. We break it. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's broken. It is a bottle of Fix-It Spray, which can fix broken items. Items can sometimes break, get rusted, things of that nature. So, it sucked that it's broken but such is life we got three salve injectors which is a tonic lasts for five rounds and we recover 0.6 hit points per level with a minimum of three each round oh yeah only do one tonic per <laughs> <coughs> at a time or bad things can happen like exploding and spontaneously combusting and we also have a ubernostrum injector 
Last for 10 rounds, recover the same, and at the 10th round, we are purged of all short-term biological debuffs and regrow up to one severed appendage. So, you know, that's pretty good. I guess that's Uber Nostrum Injector. All right, let's see. Yeah, weird artifact broken. What a shame. Um, ironically, I believe we can still use that one, broken or not. <laughs> Maybe not ironically, but... Ooh, that's still the Gershling Corpse. I did not realize they were worth quite so much money. We will sell the scrap as well. Because it doesn't mean a ton to us. Let's see. Hmm. Nothing really that I want. So let us offer these things to him and he will give us 33 drams worth of water. We have a ton of water on us. Ah, uh, yes, and we need to buy food. So we will talk to um, Mehmet, and we'll buy all the food that he happens to have on him. This food has no weight. And you know, since our skills are so high, we're buying it for a penny a piece. So everything that he has on him, three drams. So, you know, that's nice. And we'll go talk to Argive, too. Um, I don't think he really has anything that we can use. Well, we'll, we'll buy all this food. Why not? This food has a way of ugh, sneaking up on you. Are running out on you in a sneaky way <laughs> when you're not watching it. Yeah, and vine wafers weigh nothing. And all of our star apples do weigh things. So does our witchwood bark for some reason. Oh, let's look at a vine wafer. It is a knot of bark swollen with moisture and culled from the water vine. The gift of Agriraria. Agriraria, whatever. It's like a genetically modified plant. It, uh, it's pretty interesting, actually, lore-wise. Um, most of the water that you see, ever see, is going to be salty water. What the water vine does, is salt gathers in its furrows. It's knotted with moisture, swollen wafers in place of leaves. What, uh, what the water vine does is it actually absorbs the salty water and it purifies it in its leaves so you can pick its leaves and its leaves have fresh water in it so in addition to the flesh that gives some sustenance <laughs> i don't think it's real great you know moisture wise or not moisture wise but nutrition wise as the lore goes because you know there's there's much better things for actually quenching your hunger but it also quenches your thirst as well and so as it turns out that's really good so we're going to be calling the episode here uh next episode we are going to get the next quest which is the weird wire conduit eureka which is our 200 feet of copper wire now that is right over here since we will be taking this slowly, we will not be fast traveling there. We will be going on the zoomed in map and killing all the tiny little creatures we come across for their delicious, delicious experience. And same thing for most of the places we travel. We'll only be traveling on the fast map if we say run out of food and there's an emergency which traveling on the fast map is actually a very very easy way to uh, starve to death because it seems like it consumes food faster than if you were to go on the uh, zoomed in map but there it is 
or if we're super overpowered, which I would love to get this character to be super overpowered. Um, T, as I'm looking at it, and this is just a sudden random thought, obviously it does not stand for turn time, because <laughs> it is way past turn 25. I don't actually know what that stands for. T. Ah, well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Caves of Cud. Uh, if something else happens and we lose, an lose another save, what I will do is I will get the same character, more or less, you know, I might forget things, and get back to now, this point <laughs> in the game. Hopefully it doesn't happen too often. There was a way that I could actually get the character backed, but it seemed excessively complicated just to get back a, you know, level 3 character that had been alive for, you know, 30 minutes. If it happens to, say, even this character, or especially after we complete the Rust Wells, yeah, I'll see about uh, restoring the character. But until that happens, yeah, I'm not super worried about it. Anyway, this was Grimcad. Thank you for joining me. If you would like, I would like for you to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and all that jazz. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and peace out, everybody.